Okay, we're on. We are leaving Malahide for good. We are on the way to the ferry terminal. We're moving to France. We're... Whoa, it's happening. The bikes are like a ton of bricks. I'm not convinced on panniers yet, but... Wow! How are you feeling? All good. <laughs> Looking forward to getting on the road and getting but... to the ferry. Oh, let's go to France. Woo! Let's go to France. But who are we? Hi, we're Bella and Steve. We left our jobs, left Australia and arrived in Ireland 18 months ago. The land of creamy Guinness and beautiful vistas. A country full of friendly people. But our final destination would be France. Well, that was until such thing as a global pandemic just shut the world down. We spent so many months staring out at stormy seas wondering would we ever make it across to that beautiful country that we so long to be in. Many walks in a lonely forest and wondering would we ever leave this place called Malahide with this beautiful castle and then get out on our way. Well, finally the way was clear. We both got vaccinated. We packed up all our possessions, what would be shipped across waiting for us when we arrived and the rest of what would see us through three weeks of cycle touring. So follow along as we head to that final destination. On Eva, our friends! Well, we have learnt that we can go up hills even when our bikes weigh so much heavy bricks. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think your bike weighs? I don't know. 30 something. Probably. Or, oh, as the Dublins say, 30, 30 something. I think mine's probably 32. That's a guesstimate. There was no scales to weigh them on. But anyway, one last climb up host with us. So, ferry port's down that way, and that's where we'll be sailing, so waving goodbye to Dublin Bay, the Irish Sea, Era Island, the Emerald Isle safe home for the last 18 months but the way is forward and France is calling. Bonjour Francais. Yes! Bonjour bonjour Francais! So with the final climb up Hoth Hill we set on and reached the Dublin ferry port. A bit of administration and wondering how on earth we actually registered aboard the ferry but with the bikes loaded in we were all ready to go and the adventure has just begun. We made it! Yay! Oh my We're gosh! On the ferry. We are here! We're on our way! We're going to head to France! It's happening! How do you feel? All good. Yay! Finally, it's nice to be on board, checked in, into our cabin, and out on the observation deck for some final views of Dublin for the time being. So, yeah, so the views of Dublin for the time being are really glamorous. Let me show you. Here on Bella's mystery tour of Dublin, we have the Poolbeg Chimney Stacks. They are famous as being super Dublin landmarks, 200 and something metres tall, um, no longer polluting the earth, which is nice. The new one over there is. Yes, the new one over there still is. But look, at the end of the day, we're on a big ferry at a ferry port, so what do you expect to see? Lots of shipping container vessels and shipping containers. Um, but actually, there are some interesting sites. Lansdowne Road. Lansdowne Road Stadium. Yep, Rugby Union Stadium. Rugby Union Stadium, indeed. And if I go further over, the Wicklow Mountains. Woo! Ever rode our bikes up there? How sad's that? We'll be back. Will we, we will. be back? Definitely. Just as a visitor, though, not as a resident. Um, it's a bit of a long drop. We're on. Well, I don't know. But we're on the deck the observation deck. On the observation deck. Observing. The lucky shamrock. And something I'm more excited about is it's not predicted to be too windy, which means potentially a nice smooth sail. I've taken a couple of seasick tablets, so fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, a really mixed feelings. It's bizarre to think that this is actually happening after at so many points thinking it never could. Um, we had a pretty good cycle down here. Uh, the panniers are definitely a different kettle of fish to the um, bike packing bags we've been used to, but 
Um, we're getting used to those. We've cycled, uh, I think, about 30 kilometers so far. So I think by the end of the next three weeks, we'll, we'll be well and truly used to cycling with panniers. As the ferry pulls out from the Irish Sea, giving us those final views of this beautiful country, we have time to contemplate what's in store for us over the next three weeks. We'll arrive in France at Cherbourg Ferry Terminal. Our final destination is right down south in the Ariège Pyrenees. How we get there is our choose your own adventure style. There's a couple of places we're going to plan on stopping along the way, but other than that, we're very flexible and we have no set route. So here's what you can expect from the view down in the ferry itself. Uh, it, it almost it's really is just like a floating hotel room and you get through the maze of room numbers and finally get to your own little cabin. We had a cabin for two, a two berth, and it was set up with two single beds and as you can see, stuff all strewn over it but it was actually really really comfortable the beds were great the shower was great and even better we had a porthole view so we could look out onto the Irish Sea and a nice calm sea it was Seasick tablets are amazing, but really they should be sleeping tablets. I think they worked on me better than any sleeping tablet ever has. Um, woke up and the boat was pitching a bit and it was time to take another one. Took another one and bang out like a light. So I feel like I've had the best sleep that I've had in probably years actually. Um, so we are I think two or three hours from arriving and this is what it looks like at the moment. So the boat's just made a little bit of a turn. Something else I realised yesterday was um, my estimation that this trip was 16 and a half hours was wrong. It's actually 18 and a half hours. Um, so we've got an extra two hours for free. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a bit windy. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear any of this at all. But um, time for some breakfast. And then, uh, yeah, let's, we might come out on the deck again. And, you know, uh, definitely when we can see land. But not too long till we actually put foot on French soil. Whee! There's the pilot heading in to jump on the board and lead us into port. Didn't know this happened, Steve was just in line coming to it. It's quite interesting. I guess they know these seas a lot better than anybody else, so it makes sense that a local would guide the ship in. But, uh... Oh wow. After 18 months of limbo, we're finally seeing France. So, yeah. <sighs> Feeling all the emotions all at once, but um... <laughs> Whew. Nearly there, looking forward to uh, getting the bikes off the boat and uh, making our way to the closest boulangerie for our first taste of French bread again. So, 18 and a half hours of setting foot on the ferry, we arrived in Cherbourg. Wow, was this real? <laughs> Is this France? Have we made it? I can't believe it. We're finally here. We're here! We're about to get off the ferry. We're about to roll down into France. We are fucking excited! Let's go! Allons-y! Cherbourg, France awaits. Let's do it. Hope 
Okay, wow. So we are rolling in Normandy in France. Um, customs was a breeze. They didn't even stamp my passport. A bit worried about that in terms of applying for my visa, but the customs lady said everything's fine because I'm, I'm married to the man. You're a man. Um, anyway, stopped in Cherbourg very quickly just to get everything set up. Um, planned to get something from a boulangerie, but it was closed. And the first, I think, five of them we've ridden past have all been closed. Not because of lunch, but because of August holidays. So, oh my gosh, I'm really hoping this is just a little thing and there'll be, there has to be a boulangerie somewhere, right? There has to be, right? Definitely. Definitely. There will be. There will be. Positivity. Positivity is what Steve's saying. Um, hey, at the end of the day, the car fours here even sell great bread. Um, so at the moment, we're headed over from Cherbourg to where we're staying tonight is St. Murray Glees. Um, and we'll be there for three nights and then aim to do rides around there. Just at a really lovely stream. Would you call this a stream? Yeah. There you go. Beautiful French stream. The ride so far has been lovely, um, perfect temperature. It's just automatically got that extra bit of warmth that Ireland never has. Um, and really lush, nice rolling country farm side. Um, Beautiful. Very nice. Lush and, green. lush and green. Loads of beautiful hydrangeas as well. Oh my gosh, I just, I love hydrangeas. Anyway, that's the first little ride update and we're happy to be on our way. Breaking news, I found a boulangerie that was open. Technically, it's not a boulangerie, it's a Buenoiserie et Epicerie. I think it's somewhere that sells beautiful pastries and like preserves. Anyway, I have brought a veritable selection because, hello, France. So, let me just see what do we have here? Le croissant. De pain au chocolat et du pepitos. I've never had pepitos before. I don't know what pepitos are other than these things. Okay, maybe I went a little bit overboard with the pastries, but hey, went in France. Pretty relieved that somewhere was open. I was starting to believe that everything was going to be closed and it would be heartbreak for all of August. Um, we're just resting by a beautiful river in Le Bas. And I think we've got another 30 odd kilometers before our final destination of Summer Reglis. All is well. We enjoyed another hour and a half of pedaling through the Normandy countryside before finally arriving at the campground at St. Reglis. We'd be basing ourselves here for three nights. A long time, you might think, but we wanted to look at the D-Day landing beaches and take in some of the World War II memorials in the area. After setting up camp, we went to the supermarket and bought food for dinner that night. A real French feast. We then got treated to the most stunning red sky sunset and we're excited about what the next few weeks of cycle touring would bring. And so concludes day one of the first three weeks. If you like what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up and click subscribe if you want to see how our adventure unfolds. Till then, happy pedalling.